was stated by Turing. Uh, he was basically a mathematician called as Alan Turing who said uh, a machine, a mathematical module which can be stated as a machine which can perform some mathematical task for you. This uh, hypothetical machine was thought by Alan Turing in 1936. Uh, despite its simplicity, this machine can simulate any computer algorithm no matter how complicated it is. This mathematical model which was stated by Alan Turing was basically made up of magnetic tapes. It was, it was a magnetic tape on which we used to have numbers uh, which can be represented using 1 and 0. Later in this video, I will show you that particular tape uh, size and the numbers which are going to be stated. Basically, this was a mathematical model which was on paper. It, it was not exactly the one which was stated but it was the mathematical module which was stated as a simple hardware which used to perform the basic operation of a computer which will accept some input then produce some output right now the basic module which was designed by Turing was this particular computer which accepts some input and some output data. You can treat this computer as a black box which used to accept some data, process that particular data and then deliver that particular output. But when, when we say that we have to process the data, definitely we need some additional component. The Turing model was added with some additional concept in this particular part. So a programmable data processor was used. Now how a data process and a programmable data process differ? Basically, when I say a programmable data processor, we can use a common data and carry out multiple operations on that particular data. That can be done by a programmable data processor. If I have a data processor on that data, I can do only one operation and then leave out that particular data and output. So a Turing model is a better model for a general purpose computer. Now this model adds an additional element called as specific computing machine, the program. So what exactly is a program? A program is nothing but a set of instructions. A set of instructions which tells what to be done on that particular data. So now a computer was more mathematically thought as three blocks. An input block which says that a data can be sent a program or a programmable data processor block which says that we can now specify a set of instructions to say what it has to do on that particular data and then finally the output which is delivered by that particular program but the additional thing is that in this programmable data processor if the same data need to be operated with some other task you can use this program change and you can still use the same data. That was one advantage which was stated in this particular program data. Let's see one simple application of this particular Turing model. Assume that I have a computer which works on a input data. I have a data called as a 312822. That is my input data and on this computer I need a various set of tasks to be done on this input. Now that various tasks can be say sorting of numbers. So for that what I'll do is I'll write a program called as sort and make this particular program work on this particular data. So that program is now going to specify on these inputs and produce output. But ultimately the next set of programs or the next set of program can work on the same data so it can say 3 12 8 22 so let me say that i want to add all these numbers so now the data doesn't change but the data remains same what we do is we only change the program so use a program called as add work with the same data and deliver the output so here nothing as such called as storing is used we are going to just specify that we're going to have more operations specified with this particular data Right? So that is how we use a set of data. Now, as I said, that you can keep on changing the program as per your task, but let the data input be common. That is how Alan Turing thought. This was long back in 1936. So you can, you can call this uh, Turing machine as a tape. Now here, I'm showing you a tape. 
I'm showing a tape which has got some bits called as zero, blank space, one, and again a blank space and zero. Now, assume that the tape head is the one which has been highlighted with the black color. So now, this is a simple Turing machine which has got infinitely long tape which acts like a typical memory. Now, you can take this tape and make the data to be stored. You can take, you can store any type of data. You can store a data in a binary format. You can store data in a decimal format. It all depends upon how you want this particular uh, decoder to work on, right? Now here, I have squares. These squares represent a block of a, com a, block of a Turing machine. Now, since the number of symbols which I'm going to store on this particular tape are three symbols. I have a zero, I have a one, and I have a blank space. So, the machine is now going to store three unique symbols. Hence, we call this as a three symbol Turing machine. So, you convert your program into blocks and make that particular block to store. And you can now read the tape. You can now write the contents onto a tape. You can do editing on the tape so that you can move around the tape and change the contents on this particular tape as per the programming part. So a same set of data can be worked on this different different programs so that it can deliver the output. That is about the very first basic module called as Turing model which was thought of. Right. So to have a quick recap of the entire uh, part. So Turing, Alan Turing designed a hypothetical mathematical module for implementing concepts which can be done by a system. This was long back in 1936. He said that a computer or a system can be thought of a data processor, a input and output part. Later on in the modification, he said that rather than having a simple data processor, we can go for a programmable data processor which will work on a simple input and make that particular program changing so that it can work on the same data and keep on changing with the data. So I have shown you at the end a simple Turing machine, a three simple Turing machine, we said 0, 1 and blank space. Thank you.